This is a guy who was Velcroed to Trump's hip for the entire 2020 campaign and all the post campaign nonsense. And so this is deadly. It's done. He's going to be convicted. But it's over. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So we've got a pretty big bombshell from Donald Trump's attorney, Alina Haba, who I really, really like. We've done a lot of videos on her. Anyway, it's about the Democrats' most elaborate wet dream, which is seeing Donald Trump in custody and behind bars. And I got a pretty great video to show you guys. But before we get into it, please, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share. Really, really does help us tremendously, guys. And uh, I really appreciate you guys. We're growing an awesome community. So anyway, Alina Haba, she was given an interview on Newsmax where she talked about the likelihood of Donald Trump actually going to jail, which, of course, excites the hell out of the average mushy brain Democrat, probably more than sex, which, of course, if you've seen most Democrats' wives, I mean, that makes sense. But uh, anyway... Here's a major piece of this scenario that they don't allow themselves to even question. Take a look. You know, contributions historically or radical PACs that they support. Problem with these recusal motions is the judges themselves have to recuse themselves. So it's not somebody overseeing it. So you're asking me to recuse myself effectively as representing Trump. I'm going to say, no, I'm fully capable of doing it and I'll be impartial. It's not it's not a real situation. It's it's really optics and it never works. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, there's no way to appeal it. And it's a problem for us. That's why we have to fight. Let's talk about the gag orders real quick, because these things are just absolutely whack to me. Yeah, um, he's campaigning for president of the United States again. And they're putting gag orders on him to what he can and can't say about a trial that is actually fueling his campaign, raising millions of dollars on it. How is this? Like, could they even possibly throw him in jail? What would that look like? <laughs> he's protected by Secret Service, sure. period. So I always tell people when they're panicked, listen, he's protected by Secret Service, number one. Number two, he did nothing wrong. So when people go to jails because they've done something wrong, right. do we have crooked situations in and out of court? Absolutely. Could they try? Probably, but it won't work because there is still trial process. There is still facts. And unfortunately, they're not going to win on the facts. Secret Service will always protect President Trump. That's the truth. They have to, wherever he is. But it's not, an, it's not even something we think about, to be honest, because this is all political. It's really not. He's, there's no criminal acts that he's done. There's no civil wrongs that he's done, unless making money for banks is a civil wrong all of a sudden. Orange man bad. I mean, that's, it's that's terrible. the problem. It's Trump derangement syndrome yeah. at its best. I'm not worried about him. He's not worried, and, and the American public shouldn't be worried. Yeah. He's succeeding for a reason. Yeah, I will, I will dare this judge to try to throw him in jail. Yeah. Campaign First Amendment. Yeah. First Amendment is a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> all right, Alina Haba, appreciate you being here very much. Yeah, so we've talked about this in other videos, guys. The president has got secret service protection for the rest of his life which makes putting him behind bars for anything but especially for something very very minor and short term like a bench warrant or a bench order would be damn near impossible you know the secret service based off their mandate and you know the laws that actually govern their existence would literally be able to seize and control as much of whatever detention center the government wants to put the president in they could take as much of it as they think is necessary to provide protection and do their jobs, which means other inmates would need to be removed or probably released. Employees would be under such insane strict security that many of them probably wouldn't even be allowed to work there. They'd be looking for new jobs. So really, no judge on the planet would put the local, the state, or the federal governments in the position to have to essentially build an entire new system for just one man. It just won't happen. I'm telling you guys right now, it is not going to happen. And, you know, I mentioned in videos before when all this deal started, that if I were Trump, I wouldn't post the bond. I wouldn't pay the bail. I would have made the government bend to my will just to see what would happen. You know, he didn't do that, of course, but, you know, for a lot of reasons, I'm sure that, you know, they, a lot of reasons went into not doing that, but it would have been a hell of a show. I promise you that. But anyway, I truly believe that even if the guy gets convicted, which he won't, but if he's convicted on every single stinking charge, 91 charges against him, he's not going to see one night in jail. It would be just a logistical and financial nightmare for the government. And if I could give any real advice 
to our poor, mushy brain liberal friends, especially you guys here that join us, which I really, really appreciate you being here. I love talking to you. But I would advise you to give up on this incarceration wet dream. It is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And, you know, they're only setting themselves up for failure and for supreme disappointment. They will lose their minds, especially if he's convicted. He, they will lose their minds if he doesn't go to jail. But anyway, that's just my take, guys. Let me know yours in the comments. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. Really appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one.